decontamination of equipment is carried out by degrees in all four echelons. After an attack by mustard gas or lewisite, trucks move on until they are out of the contaminated area. They stop only after reaching the nearest place of safety. In the first echelon, the driver or assistant driver, using the one and one half quart spray, starts at the top of the door and works down, cleaning a path for himself as he gets out of the truck. This one and one half quart apparatus is standard equipment on all vehicles in the field of operations. It carries enough liquid to decontaminate those parts of the truck which would come in contact with the driver and his clothes. In the second echelon, the entire body of the truck is sprayed. This work is done by men of the decontamination detail who are dressed in protective clothing. Thick coatings of the chemical can be removed by using swabs dipped in kerosene or gasoline. Canvas covers are taken off and left to air. A warning sign should be posted beside them. The whole body of the truck is then sprayed with non-corrosive decontaminating agent. This three-gallon apparatus is the standard equipment for second echelon work. The tank is refilled in the field by mixing the special non-corrosive white powder with acetylene tetrachloride. These have been previously prepared in the correct measures for mixing. This is stirred until the white powder is completely dissolved. Then it is poured into the decontaminating spray tank. When the work is finished, the detector crayon, another standard test, is used to make sure no vesicant remains on the body. If there is mustard or lewisite present, the color of the crayon turns from red to blue. The truck is now safe to drive, but further decontamination work must be carried out before any repair work is done for it is possible there will be traces of mustard or lewisite in the cracks and crevices or in mud on the chassis of the truck. In the third echelon, a 400 gallon apparatus is used to complete the work. By using a water spray and scrapers, all mud is removed from the chassis. Then all parts of the truck are sprayed with non-corrosive decontamination solution or with a slurry of chlorinated lime. If chlorinated lime is used, it should be washed off after one hour to prevent corrosion. The bleach solution consists of one part of chlorinated lime to one part of water by volume, which is then stirred until thoroughly mixed. The bleach is strained through a funnel strainer as it is poured into the tank. Thus, any lumps or solid particles that would clog the nozzle are removed. A wooden paddle can be used to break up any lumps that remain. After the top is replaced and screwed in tight, the air pressure in the tank is built up by means of the pressure pump, which is part of the apparatus. The three gallon decontamination spray is now ready for use. 